Hello, good morning. Today I'm going to teach you how to add moisture to black soap. So I have a few samples of black soap here. I have this, this very popular one, and then another one that I just purchased. So I'm going to start by scooping some black soap into this little mortar. I'm giving, showing you an example with this mortar because I want to show you how to combine the black soap and um, a solid shea butter. So I have a scoop here and I'm going to also show you another scoop. And then here I have the solid shea butter. And here I have the um, dissolved shea butter. How you can dissolve shea butter is to just put it on top of a slight heat. It doesn't take time to, to dissolve. So don't add, put it directly on the heat uh, or your, on your stove. Just put uh, a warm water and it will just dissolve in a couple of minutes. So I'll add it to I'll add a dissolved one. It's about the same quantity. I'll add the dissolved one to the one scoop of the black oil. We all know that shea butter is very good. It has anti-aging properties, has a high level of oleic and linoleic acid. It is effective in combating um, oxidative stress. It protects against free radicals. It helps to, it helps your skin to turn over new cells. It tightens the skin and provides vitamin E which protects you from the sun and from the UV rays and sunburns. It also acts as an emolli emollient for your skin. Your skin will absorb its rich butter, its heavy moisturizing property. The moisturizer can last for several hours. It also calms irritating, irritated skin, fades dark mask, marks and scars is anti-inflammatory it has natural spf it restores skin elasticity it's used for eczema and psoriasis it also relieves some bones and heals um, bones it's very good when people say uh, blacks don't crack these are the things that makes black don't crack so we we'll go ahead to process it so i'm going to bring it together. I'm just going to apply a little force. You can also cut the shea butter into pieces to aid the combination. You can see it's very smooth. It's already combining nicely. You can see So I'm going to further combine it with um, the spoon. You can see. So this combination of black soap is very good for people who have very dry skin. If you have very dry skin, I advise you to use one to one. So a size of this and the size of, of shea butter if you have very dry skin. But if you do not have dry skin and you just want your skin to be able to retain, retain its moisture and don't have the black soap strip you of all the oil, um, you can add two of these against one of the shea butter. So this combination, this sample of combination is for very dry skin. If you have very dry skin, use this to have the benefit of the black oil as well as the the um, rich properties of the shea butter so this is what you will have look at it very beautiful who believe this is black soap 
So this is what you have for very dry skin. So let's look at how it is. So we are going to take a sample and see what it looks like with water, breathing with it with water. So this is it, I'm going to apply it on my skin. This is what it looks like. So it's going to be, it's going to have soft leather and um, deep moisturizing bath. That's what you will have. So this is what it looks like. This is what it feels like. Baiting with black soap and shea butter. Where the combination is 50-50. So this is what I have. I have a very rich leather. Looking like those exotic um, soap that has heavy moisturizing effect. This is what it looks like. It doesn't strip you of the natural oil. It just nicely washes you and leaves your skin moisturized. Okay, so let's have the other combination with the melted butter. So this is what I have here. Melting it is easy for people who don't have time to pound it. Just apply a little pressure just to combine it. You can see it doesn't give it the white effect like the cold one has. It's when it cools down that you see the, the effect of the shea butter. So for now it's, it's transparent, it's pretty transparent. It's more white until it cools down. This is my consistency and this is the color. It's still warm a bit. When it cools down, it's going to have the same effect. It's going to have the same lighter effect like the, the cold one, the solid one has. So this is it, very easy. You can, you, you don't need to bother yourself with buying the black soap since you can moisturize it at home. You can give it more moisture at home. So look at what it is and it's also cheap because if they had moisturized it this cup of black soap that costs just about two dollars if they moisturize it is going to cost almost ten dollars but look at us doing it at home with what we just have so we have right here very luxury bathing soap we have transformed the normal drying soap to very luxury soap with rich leather just like you saw when i tried it so i'm going to go ahead and try this same one let's see the the effect it has on the skin so let's take a bit okay so this is what i just have taken it foams really really well so the same rich leather that the other one has you can see so this is it thank you for watching please subscribe watch my channel and see you next time with a very good video of things you can do to add very good value to what you have at home thank you very much see you next time bye Thank you. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Bye.